Welcome back to Farthest Frontier, Random Map Trailblazer. In this episode, we're going to upgrade as many things as possible. But first, let's wait till these raiders clear. We have some houses upgrading already. Let's check on our professions. We're not overworked. That's good. Let's try and... Oh, we can't even try the miners. And we're instantly short on laborers, so we'll have to wait on that. Let's check on the armory. Let's go three to one on the shields to Hobox. Let's get a basic infantry uh, set up. At least that's my current thinking and that can always change. Let's check on our items. Still no crossbows, but I'm sure the people are getting crossbows. And we have milk now. We're waiting for the cheese maker to be made. Let's find the Fletcher. Yeah, one crossbow was made, but that's not a lot for the year. Definitely. We may need to buy them from the market or elsewhere. Everything else on items looks pretty good. And the storehouse needs 50 bricks to upgrade. I want to do that, but we're using the brick to upgrade everything else right now. But perhaps that should be a higher priority in the future. Let's go ahead and mine this clay at a faster rate so we can get some of these upgrades done. Let's go ahead and disband the army for now. It's risky, but we were raided recently, so we should have some time on our hands to work with things before the raiders come back. And the cheese maker is up and running. That's excellent. Cheese is one of the longest lasting items in the game that doesn't spoil. I believe cheese could last for something like six years. <laughs> And we have no horses in the stable, so let's go ahead and remove these workers from the stable for now until we buy horses. And let's check on our crop fertility. Now we do have cows in the barn here, so perhaps we should upgrade the workers. Let's get a full house into the barn to get all the milk we can to get the cheese. Fertility is low there, but we have so many cloves. I'm not sure why that is. This one looks good at 64%. 50%. It's still okay. 68%. So we have mixed in farming, but we're doing okay. <laughs> what we need to look for is more clay. <laughs> Go Barn is doing okay. Really don't need more workers there yet. We don't have a high enough population. And we've already made 20 cheese, so that's excellent. Let's see what we could trade here. Oh, he doesn't have that much money. 
for the clothes we have, so let's go have. So let's see what we can buy. Ah, oh, willow. We need that for baskets. So let's buy pretty much buy them out of that. Let's sell the rest of the shirts. And let's go ahead and buy tallow in. We only have three. So let's buy a little bit of a stockpile of tallow. It's important we keep our buildings working. If, if we don't have the items, we don't have the workers, so... I mean, the workers are a waste. And let's buy some clubs for basic defense for our population. Let's go ahead and sell our honey. We're not using that yet for beer. Looks like we could upgrade the firewood splitter. That needs iron to, to give us increased speed. Okay, let's increase the speed. That means when we get the stockpile of firewood that we can disband those workers and use them for something else. Which is always helpful. We're going to upgrade as many things as we can. We need to run efficient as possible. Let's go ahead and upgrade the shrine. It's going to give us increased desirability. And go, let's go ahead and look look at putting down a glass maker so we can get rid of this excess sand that we have in storage. To turn it into something useful that we can either sell or use ourselves with the preservist. We don't have the preservist yet, but let's start stockpiling glass. As soon as this is flattened, we should be able to put in the glass maker. Sure enough we can, and we'll see you in the next episode.